And the first chemist, this guy that was sort of a friend of mine that died to do it, considered it a good thing to do. That's the complexity that you have to recognize. It's so easy to say that all these people are so bad, but often you don't know what's going to happen until it happens. His idea was that one of the major burdens of being addicted to heroin is that you can't afford it. It's really expensive. So by substituting this relatively inexpensive material, the price of heroin would go down. This financial burden associated with opioid addiction would be reduced. It would actually improve the quality of life of the users. And it could even be a more pure, potentially safer material if you look at certain literature. Of course, that's not what happened. And many people died and he went to prison as a result of it.